Hey, this is Presh Walker. Let S be the sum of all positive real numbers X for which X to the power of 2 to the power of square root of 2 is equal to square root of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of X. Which of the following options is true? A. S is less than square root of 2. B. S is equal to square root of 2. C. Square root of 2 is less than S is less than 2. D. 2 is less than or equal to S is less than 6. E. 6 is less than or equal to S. This is a no calculator question and it comes from a math Olympiad qualifying question in America. This is the 2021 AMC 12B problem 12. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Before I get to the solution, it's a good time to clear up a common misconception. When you have a to the power of b to the power of c without parentheses, you're supposed to interpret this as right associative or evaluate it from top down. So this is a to the power of the quantity b to the power of c. In general, this is not going to be the same if you take a to the power of b first, then raise it to the power of c, that's equal to a to the power of bc. So in this problem, when we have x to the power of 2 to the power of square root of 2, that should be equal to x to the power of the quantity 2 raised to the power of square root of 2. So just something I wanted to say before we get to the solution. So now to get started, note that s is a sum of all positive real numbers x. That means x is greater than 0, and we can use our normal exponent rules and logarithm rules. To simplify this equation, we'll apply log base 2 to both sides. We can now bring down the exponents on both sides of the equation. So we have 2 to the power of root 2 multiplied by log base 2 of x is equal to 2 to the power of x multiplied by log base 2 of square root of 2. Now let's analyze this equation. By simple inspection, if we substitute x is equal to square root of 2, we get that both sides are equal to each other. So x is equal to square root of 2 is a solution to this equation. We've already figured out one value. Are there any others? Let's analyze this equation further. We'll simplify the right-hand side where we have log base 2 of square root of 2. Square root of 2 can also be written as 2 to the power of 1 half. So this simplifies to be 1 half. Now 1 half can be rewritten as 2 to the power of negative 1. And then we have 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of negative 1, and that is equal to 2 to the power of x minus 1. We can now simplify this by taking the log base 2 of both sides of the equation. So let's simplify further. As before, we can bring down the exponent x minus 1. This will cancel out. So the right-hand side is equal to x minus 1. On the left-hand side, we have log base 2 of a product. One term is 2 to the power of square root of 2, and the other term is log base 2 of x. So the logarithm of a product is the sum of the logarithms. So this is equal to log base 2 of 2 to the power of root 2 plus log base 2 of log base 2 of x. Now, we have 2 to the power of square root of 2, and we're taking log base 2, so that will simplify to be square root of 2. So we have square root of 2 plus log base 2 of log base 2 of x is equal to x minus 1. We subtract square root of 2 from both sides, so we get log base 2 of log base 2 of x is equal to x minus 1 minus root 2. So now let's think about this graphically. x minus 1 minus square root of 2, this is a linear equation, so it will look like a straight line. Now what about log base 2 of log base 2 of x? So we have the logarithm of a logarithm curve. So it's going to be a concave down curve that's going to look something like a logarithmic curve. Now we know that x is equal to square root of 2 is a solution. So if we substitute it into the right-hand side. We have square root of 2 minus 1 minus square root of 2, and that simplifies to be negative 1. So we know that square root of 2 minus 1 is a point on the right-hand side. But it's a solution of the equation, so it's also a point on the curve on the left. Furthermore, 
If we test the value x is equal to 2, we have log base 2 of log base 2 of 2. Log base 2 of 2 is equal to 1. And then log base 2 of 1 is equal to 0. So the point 2 comma 0 is on this concave down curve. So let's sketch a graph of the two curves together. So we have the line, which is going to look something like this. And we know that one point is square root of 2, negative 1. Now we have the point 2 comma 0, and 2 is greater than square root of 2. So we want to draw this logarithmic type curve that goes through these two points. So it's going to go through these two points, and then it's going to grow at some point slower than this linear curve, so it's going to intersect one more time. So let's say this point of intersection is a comma b. What can we say about the value of a? Well, we see it's to the right of 2 comma 0. So we know that the sum of the roots is going to be square root of 2 plus a, and a is going to be greater than 2. So let's look at our answer choices. We can immediately eliminate answer choices a, b, and c, because we know that s is going to be equal to square root of 2 plus some number that's greater than 2. So we're just down to choices d and e. Is s between 2 and 6, or is it going to be greater than or equal to 6? So how can we figure that out? Let's test a value. What would happen if x is equal to 4? Well, log base 2 of log base 2 of 4 will be equal to log base 2 of 2, which is equal to 1. Now, if we substitute it into the linear equation, we get 4 minus 1 minus root 2, which is approximately equal to 3 minus 1.4, which is 1.6. So on the green curve, we have the point 4 comma 1. Then on the blue curve, the linear curve, we have 4 and something that's about 1.6. This is larger. So we know that this will be to the right of this intersection point. In other words, x is equal to 4 is something like this, and a will be less than that. So we figured out that a is less than 4. So now that means s is less than square root of 2 plus 4, which is less than 6. And that means answer choice E is wrong. And that leaves us with answer choice D. 2 is less than or equal to s is less than 6. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.